Nasty pictures. You got your pants down. That's with right. With a big old X cross, whatever. Okay, Mac. You must be a soccer fan. Mac, I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry, man. Look, I'm going to be honest with you. Mario says that picture right there looks best to represent what Mac looks like after the game. Is I did not. Ooh, so why you going to put my. you going to go shooting at Mac. Mac, he's just mad because you said he, we, I like being called the righteous brother. Vic, you know, I base my wait, wait. aging. Oh, that's okay. Vic's still fighting here. Oh, yeah, I do fight my aging. I do. I fight, you know what? Because Vic's still, he's, well, Vic, you know, is 32. <laughs> and I'm 60. Because, you know, 50 is the new 60. Right. I'm, you know, we one foot in the grave. There you go. <laughs> we pull it off real well, man. We pull it off real well. Okay, you guys, you know, since we had a busy, busy sports weekend, and it really didn't include Monday as it relates to sports, because all the sports happened with Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Okay, cool. Monday, we had the Boise State-Virginia Tech game. Did you check out any of those? Vic, games? and by the way, Vic, yeah. that's so unfair. Why? They have Monday night football on Thursday and Friday, <laughs> right. and then here they come to Monday. And there ain't no Monday. So here we are. We don't know where the hell football. That's right. They just try so hard to make you buy a satellite. That's right. Okay? That's right. Assholes. That's, <laughs> that's not even on the list. Right. I get to say that. That's right. <laughs> Look, you guys, we're in a new world. Competition is wearing its ugly head. So what you're going to find is carriers doing commercials blaming other contractual carriers that are not mentioned as the reason why you may not see a show. It's called divert the attention from the main problem. But this was not a problem. Yesterday, Virginia Tech was down 17-0 mm. against Boise State. It looked like Boise State was on its way. But so they came out. But, first of all, what, Vic? What? Did this not continue? I had people in the room. Okay, this continued on the trend we set of excellent games. Yes. I had people in the room with me who did not care about football. I had some women <laughs> who don't even know football, right? Right. And they were like, wow, look at who. <laughs> that game was so exciting. Look at the, the 33 to 30. And at first, Boise State came out like they was on fire. Yes, sir. Talk about offensive play, you guys. Yes. That's what I'm saying. These games have been something else. <laughs> right. And it, and it stands to reason that. Most people are looking at the years that have gone by with Boise State because every time it comes up to the BCS championship, whether they go undefeated, they are never good enough to go to the championship game. So they get to start off number three this year. Now, the question I have because – On some polls, on I, some, saw, I saw where yeah. there's this issue between, I guess, the writers' poll. There's a difference in, in depending right. on who you coaches look at. Poll. Coaches' poll, yes. writers' poll, BCS. Yes. Because yes. on one of the polls, they're like 10, That's 11. Correct. That's right. So the pro I read my sport. <laughs> Wait a minute. I ain't no average bad. <laughs> Wait. This okay. Here's the question that I have more than anything else. If I, I, I was out, you know, I was playing, trying to do two roles. Festival, Ndugu Chancellor, hanging out, but then keeping up the score with the game and trying to get a few highlights. The question I have that 17-0 is misleading because Virginia Tech has some turnovers. So the part that's getting me is right. that you look at the end of the score and the end of the game, right. Virginia Tech was leading up until one minute left in the quarter. Now, the question I have for you is, what were you thinking when uh, Boise State was leading 17-0 in the first quarter? I think it's going to blow them out, but let me tell you something else. They really – both teams showed real hard. Virginia Tech showed real hard in the way they came back. Right. And the quarterback just exceptional and the running back. You know, these people, these kids were playing hard. Yeah. They were playing hard. So I was amazed at how persistent they were, how they never gave up. Right. And it was just an amazing – piece Vic too bad you were out there merging it I was able to sit in front of a yeah. big TV and be a couch potato for this one well I got to do the replay because the one thing I love about well, money speaks loudly so they rebroadcasted the game later on a few hours later so I got to see the game the, the, now before I even go any further Norman Ross gives you a shout out man real quick that's so, Normie <laughs> freezing his ass off in Cleveland but not it's not right now but you know it's coming Norman oh. Norman enjoy the sunshine Right. Get out there, Norman. Get that tan. You know, that's to last you for a while. There you Expose go. Expose those body parts. Get them, get them some sun. There you go. Get out there, Norman. Norman, we love you. Miss you over there in Cleveland. 
Peace out to you, Noah. Yeah, we, 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 we know Cleveland is not the same place it used to be pre or post LeBron. And once again, that's just acknowledging our interactive audience because this intera- these shows are interactive. And we right. have friends and family in the chat room. That's right. Doing things, talking to us, and they are part of the show. They are part of everything we yes. do. And you know what? And Okay, and going on, because I know everybody's basically saying, okay, get, give me some more sports. All right. Is the number three ranking of Boise State too high? Here's the question before you answer it, Mario. They're looking to go undefeated because there's really, you know, the, the schedule's been set up so they really don't have any hard competition. Do you think the ranking of number three is too high? It's kind of hard for me to, to really, I don't, I, Vic, I have to be really honest. With the ranking system, I never have understood it or agreed. I'm not sure I still do right. agree, even though I try to look now at this, at least what the so-called science behind it. Right. So, uh, no, I don't think it's too high uh, because I think, but I do think you should look at the, how the process is, is how this determined right. and tweak the process. I understand. But I, understand. I think having just having, or, or how about this? You know, in the old days, they just polled certain people and the people that they polled were kind of like on a certain list. That's right. So was that accurate? Uh, you know, it's hard okay. to say. Okay, all right. This is hard to say. Because say. before they just polled them, right, they, right, right? they voted. Yeah. I mean, look, some of the uh, uh, the rankings, especially with Associated Press, you remember they pulled out of the BCS, I believe, a few years ago, not wanting to be part of it. Because it is very difficult because it's, it's the closest uh, thing we got that works that we accept. It doesn't mean that it works the best. So I don't know, but I'm saying this. If they go undefeated, the argument is going to be very difficult. But be careful of what they call those teams performing well because I think what bumps Boise is the sake that the number one and number two teams go undefeated as well. Vic, Nobody's predicting that, but that could happen. But, Vic, here's the bottom line to me. There's going to be arguments anyway because anything short of a championship, you're going to have arguments because right. that's what the whole thing's about. You got it. You have the people who want a college right, championship, right. and you have the people who don't care. Right. And so now that's the issue. So all the, all the other stuff is just fluff. Right. And, and and here's the other part. You know, when you're part of the college environment as a student, usually you're just going for the excitement and the elements and not paying attention to the Monday morning quarterbacking that we do. Like so this I, picture? I have to show this picture. <laughs> like this picture. <laughs> this is this this picture. So aptly represents that. Right. That's our attitude. The only difference is we kept the shorts up. And actually in my picture, they're also down around the ankles. <laughs> See, look. I'm just trying to let you guys know that the students, to me, (laughs) let me just say this. The college environment where they go and have their fun as it relates to what we're talking about is about what's going to happen when the games get ready to come their way. They're so in the energy of that. They're not looking at how we tweak the system. They accept the system for whatever it is because they're not being the committees uh, of oversight. So I never get myself caught up in this delusion that I know what's best. I just look at how we entertain ourselves thinking we know what's right for them. No, they just want to get drunk. I know what you say. I just want to break it down. I just want to get drunk see. and vomit. Oh, see. Drink, vomit, drink, vomit. Okay, so you see. Have sex maybe somewhere in there. Right. This is our dream and our exercise. That's college right, right. there. That, it's our dream right now <laughs> to, to pretend like we know what's best because we've already gone through this. I don't even I don't know. know. I don't know that we know what's best. Hey. We pretend. We certainly know how we screwed up our part. Yes. But did we look at it as screwing up? But back in our day, it, oh, was, a nobody of, does. it was a hell of a lot of fun, bro. Sure. It was always sure. that And way. that's why many of you are now paying that child support. <laughs> you know what? It was a lot of fun then, though, well, wasn't it? You have to spend some successful stories but out of something. Now you're paying child support. And, okay. uh, and you're looking at her going, she looked so much better back then. <laughs> and she's thinking the same thing about you. You know what? <laughs> This is no knock against what I went through yesterday. It was so funny. I was standing next to a, a, a friend of mine. And the festival can have all types of people there, wonderful people spiritually in every, in every sense of the word. But I leaned over, and I'll let you guess who said this. One of us leaned over to somebody's ear. I leaned over to listen, or I, I, I bent over to tell him something. So, you know, it's a, a lot of people here are spending the rest of their lives with people at this festival. You had to see the festival people. Well, I, I, if they can spend the rest of their lives together, okay. and it's not because they are sentenced and cellmates, right? If they're not, if they're spending the rest of their lives of their own accord. See, I'm, if you can spend your li- rest of, if you can live with somebody right now, if you are living with someone right now, right, you bad. See what I'm saying? So you see, and you don't, and you don't want to poison them, right? <laughs> 
Okay. Let me keep you thought, But you at least looked it up on the internet, didn't okay. you? Okay. All right, let me do How this. How to get away with murder. Let me just stop. Stop. This is about sports, you guys. I'm, I'm sorry. See, you went there, Vic. I know. It's my fault. It's my fault. I'm trying to because, be good. No, I know that. But see, I couldn't help but. To, no, reality talk. Is reality talk. I'm going to talk about this what we do. This is the new sports. Right. This is how we do a reality talk, even though it's the new, new sports. Sports in here somewhere. Yeah. Okay. Did Boise State make a statement by winning on Virginia Tech's home field, which is something that nobody really addressed. You go to somebody else's home field because it, the historical reference is that Boise State, when you go into their home field on that blue turf, you're going to lose. So, dude, did the they make statement, a statement? Yes, I guess, because the one thing, now that you mentioned it, I have it in my mind how quiet <laughs> At the end, you should have seen the stadium. Those people were like, <laughs> they're gone. They were gone. You right. could have heard a rat piss on cotton. All right. <laughs> I love to use that phrase. I know. Okay. <laughs> All right. So we also know we also know the statement that Boise made in the coaches and the Boise? voters. Boise? Boise State made a statement by saying we went on the road our first game against a highly ranked team. They were the best highly ranked competitive teams of this new season. Uh -huh, and true. he won. They won. So, to me, they made a big statement. So, you can't holler at them for the rest of the year until somebody greater in the rankings come up and they play. And that's not going to happen in their conference. But, but but Virginia Tech made a statement too, Vic. They did. Because the, Turnovers. I think, yeah, but and I also think that the comeback, the comeback. Oh, I love the comeback. There's a character issue that I like to see. see I like that's that. a scrappy team. It's not a quitting team. They, right. they showed character. Even though they made mistakes, it's how you re how you respond after you make the mistakes. So right. that they showed to me a lot of character, dude. And here's the best thing: if I had to follow a, a a system of saying what's the best way to start off your beginning of your season, I like what Virginia Tech and Boise State did. They said, you know what, you can afford to lose easy and early in the season. And when I say easy, it's because it's you know you you get better as the season goes along. They can drop a loss and recover in the rankings faster than you do lose a game at the end of the season. So here's the part that I like. Be that's smart. all computer. That's the part I, I didn't understand because that was computer. They were trying to explain that on the TV. I couldn't understand because it, why it, this loss would affect more of the other things. Yeah, it is a, it's a waiting, it's a waiting balance thing. But what they say is if at the end of the day you're 11 and 0 and have one game left and you're in the top three or four and you lose a game, you're almost out of it. But if you win a game early and you go undefeated the rest of the season, because the sheer loss of other teams, you stand to gain points. You know, I'm going to the next subject. I'm not going to listen to you. All right. Uh, I ain't listening to you. Uh, All right. I'm not listening well, to you. <laughs> okay. If you go by, that right. sounds like I don't want to hear it. Marriage. I don't want to hear it. See, that's why you're I'm, women, we love you all. Check it out. No, not all. Yeah, we love you all. You have to be optimistic. Uh, some of y'all are getting kind of testy. All right. <laughs> Did Virginia Tech lose the game more than Boise State won the game? Now, this is an interesting part. Because, yes. Ah, uh, so yes to what? Yes, they did. <laughs> they lost the game more. I mean, because of the mistakes. Yes. But they all, you know what, Vic, in fair, they all had turnovers. But look at the right. wonderful comeback. I see, because they, okay, wasn't the comeback by Boise? Yes. Wonderful. Yes, so how, how much of the That's game win saying. was that? Well, see, the part that a I'm. Wonderful yeah, game. Yes. I like it because I think Virginia Tech proved that it is a formidable team and that when they clean up those mistakes, whoever comes and deals with Virginia Tech, watch the rankings when they get re ranked. What do you predict that they drop from number six to where? Will they go not back? Far. I'm not saying anything. Some of you ladies, look at them. You're not being optimistic. <laughs> You're being, Overweight, you're being, overpriced. Yeah, the, uh, the sports cynic has spoken. Now, here we go. Here's the reasons why, and you tell me. The real reason for Hainsworth's trade talks, Albert viewed Vince Young's off-season bathroom altercation and wants to help. Is that true? He, he couldn't. He viewed it but didn't understand what was going on. <laughs> he got confused because he's usually reading cartoons. Okay, <laughs> let's do this then. Albert Hainsworth. Wants to avoid the 2011 preseason, next season, workouts in Tennessee will allow it. True or false? I think that's true. He yeah. wants to avoid any workouts right. unless it involves moving chicken from the plate to his mouth. <laughs> see? See, I'm telling you. No Sometimes hope. Sometimes a potato, you know, potato salad would work well, too. Okay. Maybe some rice, some beans. <laughs> Here we go. And get some cornbread muffins in there. Okay.